All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're out in the woods this morning. We're going to do some early foraging. And what I mean by early foraging is stuff is blooming right now, but the, the berries and the grapes and everything else had not got on yet good. So we're just going to get out and find good areas that's got plenty of wild blueberries and huckleberries and grapes and stuff like that. And, uh... As soon as I find that stuff, we'll let you see what I'm talking about. Appreciate y'all watching my channel. I really do. I mean, if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be able to get out here and do this stuff. Wouldn't have nobody to watch it. So, hope y'all enjoyed these videos. Tell somebody you love them. And we'll get on to the video. And as you know, we have my little Charlie dog with me. As usual, she, she goes everywhere with me. All right, Charlie, you ready to go foraging? Hmm? Oh, you're already finding blackberries, huh? All right, let's go the other way. Now, it's still uh, turkey season, so you can shoot a hog with a black powder or a shotgun. I brought my black powder today because when I'm foraging or when I'm in the woods or anything, I have my weapon with me. You never know when old hog gonna come out. And while we're foraging and stuff, we also look for, um, besides the berries and stuff, we look for um, fishing holes, see how many fish and stuff's in there, how many critters is around the swamps, and all different sorts of stuff Food for food-wise. So y'all hang with me. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I found a wild blueberry bush. It's got some vines and stuff in it, so you have to look close. I'll try to show you all the ends of it. But I'll show you the bottom bark. You can really tell. Let me see if I can zoom in. See how the bark on that looks? There's the leaves. There's some different bushes up in there too, so don't pay attention to those. This is the end of the bush. Let's see if I can get the little berry on there. There it is. That's a wild blueberry. They're not ready yet, that's what I was saying. We pre-scouting. There's a berry there somewhere. If I can get it in, there it is. That's the green ones. There ain't many on this bush because there's so many vines and stuff in it, but there's other bushes. Whenever you find one, you'll find more. That's just like star grass and bayberries and any other kind of stuff you get. Usually when you find one, you'll find a bunch more. That's like grapes. The grapes are all out here. I guess that's probably the next thing I'll show you guys when I get it closer to the truck. <sighs> I'm down in the swamp right now. There's some more wild blueberries. Right there in the monks. Right there in the monks, all that, some blueberries. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I found a good grapevine full of grapes. See them right up there? They're low enough that you can shake the limbs or the vines and get the grapes out when they're ready, but the deer can't get up there to them. And the, well, the coons and stuff can, but the deer and stuff won't be eating them. So this will be up, that vine's loaded too. It's all over in there. You see little grapes everywhere, but they're real tiny, tiny right now. So. This would be a good place to come when the grapes are ripe because there's vines everywhere out here. Here's a vine hanging real low, so I'm gonna show you the little how small the grapes are right now. That's that little bitty bunch. They're all over the place out here. 
You just gotta know what to look for and when to look for them. They should be ripe about the end of next month in June. See all these on the ground over here. The critters will get to them before we do. So there ain't no need in worrying with them too much. See there's some right there. Yeah, let me get out there. Shadow. See how small they are. Here's some more big bayberry bushes. A wax myrtle. Whatever you want to call it. It's all down through here. But you cut the tops off and pull the roots up. And then take the bark off of the roots. So that stuff's all in here. You get about like six dollars a pound for it. And it don't shrink up too bad. There's some blackberry bushes coming in. And some blueberries, or huckleberries. There ain't many on them though. They're not loaded like they should be. Charlie, I think we're done for today. Come on. There's too many snakes out. Gentlemen's Wiz found a armadillo hole. These are good eating too. See, they go in the side of banks and stuff. I ain't gonna stick my hand down in there to see if nothing's in there because the snakes like them holes too. But armadillos is one of the only creatures in America that carries leprosy. But as long as you cook it completely, you don't have to worry about it. I've eaten armadillos all my life and I don't have it. <laughs> Anywho, they make the best sloppy joe sandwiches or poured pork you ever had. They're really, really good. You can ask my cousin about that when we was younger. I cooked her six of them. And she wanted me to go get more after they sopped the pot. So always be on the lookout for all kind of critter holes and anything like that frogs fish snakes gators but when it hits the fan there ain't gonna be no law enforcement to tell you you can and can't take a critter because they're gonna be doing it themselves. so always keep that in mind also all right we'll see what else we can find out here all right, here's a good patch of blackberries. You gotta watch for snakes in these things, though. But look at the blackberries, just as far as you can see through there. All down this edge. Ooh, some of them starting to turn black. And there's grapes along here, too. All the red berries. They'll be black in another week or two, probably. A couple of them's already turning over there. <clears throat> a couple of them's already turning over there. But see, getting out here foraging like this and scout, pre-scouting, you know where to go, where the thickest berries and all are. To where you can get the most berries for your time. Make more jelly, jam. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't find any chanterelle mushrooms today because it's so hot and it hadn't rained in a while. That's usually when they come out, it's right after a rain. But I can show you the shape of them, which is in this flower right here. See how it comes up and it looks like a little trumpet? That's exactly what a chanterelle looks like, except they're orange. So if you find an orange mushroom that looks like this, and you know it's chanterelles, and they're very, very edible, very good. So that's that. I will show you all the chanterelles once I find some. Might not be today, might be on a different video, but I'll get them on there. So we'll keep looking around, see what else we find. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a hole like you want to find out in the woods where nobody else knows it's there because it's dark water. Don't take much to filter it. Oh, there's a gator laying right there. I don't know if I can zoom in far enough on him. Y'all see him laying there in the sun? A nice little four or five footer. But this place is full of frogs too. You can hear them bullfrogs romping out here at night. See, you find holes like this, there's meat in it, there's food in it and around it. Don't take much to get it either. Look at him just laying there. Yeah, food for the later. Food for later. You just let him be. Hear that frog over there? That little joker gator right there eats his share of them frogs too, I bet you. There's, there's got to be fish and stuff in here for him to eat or he wouldn't be in here. And if there's fish in here for him to eat, there's fish in here for me to eat. Appreciate y'all watching my channel. So, hope y'all enjoyed these videos. Tell somebody you love them.